Praise be to the name of the Lord. During this Lent season, as we remember the ministry of Christ, his death on the cross and resurrection, the Bible portion taken out for today's meditation is from the Gospel of Matthew chapter 22 verses from 15 to 23. Based on this portion, the topic chosen is give to God what belongs to God and the key verse is verse 21. So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's. In this portion, we see that Jesus is interacting with the religious leaders. The Pharisees sent their disciples along with the Herodians to try and trap Jesus. In normal circumstances, these two groups would not even get along. However, when it came to trick Jesus, they seemed to get along quite fine. They tried to trap him and ask him in verse 17, Tell us then what is your opinion is it right to pay the imperial tax to caesar or not but jesus is able to discern their motives and their intentions and he calls them hypocrites because they show something on the outside that is quite opposite of what is true internally jesus answered them show me the coin used for paying the tax they brought him a denarius and he asked them Whose image is this and whose inscription Caesar's they replied and then Jesus strongly replies So give back to Caesar what is Caesar's and to God what is God's Through this conversation Jesus is clearly emphasizing on one thing Jesus answer is simply an affirmation of Christian submission to the governing authorities Jesus is clearly setting a standard and telling us that it is right and good for us to support our authorities apostle paul also in the book of romans chapter 13 talks about submitting to the government authorities he says for there is no authority except that which god has established since the coin in those days bore the image of caesar the tax was due to caesar it is good and right to be loyal to the government in our lives but our greatest loyalty should be to the one whose image we bear and that's god's according to genesis chapter 1 verse 27 god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him and also according to the book of psalms chapter 24 verse 1 the earth is the lord's and all those who live in it through this incident jesus teaches us to have a wholehearted committed life to God in this world. God has established certain authority structures in the world such as parents, teachers, employers, pastors and leaders to bring order in home, church, workplace and government. And now as we live in this world of consumerism, materialism and running after acquisitions We are surrounded by many forces that keeps us away from the Lord. This portion reminds us to give our wholehearted submission before the Lord. Jesus answer, which is an affirmation of Christian submission to the governing authorities, makes us role models of loyalty and trustworthiness before other people. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, as we struggle in this world of acquisitions to follow you wholeheartedly give us your grace and wisdom to discern your word and follow you in every circumstances of our life help us by being role models of loyalty and trustworthiness reflect your life into the life of other people and light up a bright spark in their lives